Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. Welcome to Placement Game 3. I'm wearing the hat, by the way, not tilted. Obviously, this is normally a sign for tilt. I've got to spin the wheel thing that we spin a wheel if someone gives 10 subs and someone did it and it landed on wear a hat category. But that is why I've got a hat on. Not a big fan of Akshan mid, but again, usually when you see Akshans, hello, Bubby. Normally they're one tricks. Hey, Bubby dog. Maya's come to say hello. Oh, wait a minute. Come here, my my. Give me luck in this game. Up, up. Oh, you're tired still, eh? You're tired. Bye bye. Oh no, you're. What are you doing? Are oh, you getting water? Good girl. How long does it take to like land? One point five seconds. Okay. Come on. Get the plants to help. Pretty good. So they're starting this side. They're either starting my red or their blue. They, they bot lane was there straight away. Your New Year's resolution to survive till Arcane Season 2. Fair enough. Hopefully it'll be good. Sometimes you worry when like something like that is so good in season one. Will it stay as good? Game of Thrones is a good example, you know. Many years it was incredible. I'm thinking Storm Surge first item. This is where we find out if they did my red. I don't think they did. No. I'm going to put that ward there because there's a small chance. Again, Kiana jungle isn't... Kiana's not really a jungler. So quite often than not, you see Kiana jungles do quite cheesy things. And like invading uh, jungle early and stuff like that. I just wouldn't be surprised. Use bot lane. She didn't have a red buff by the look of it, so she skipped her red. I think he put a ward down recently. Huh? That's not worth for a can to do that. Shame that Ezreal didn't get the kill, but. Yeah, I know. I need cooldowns, dude. Every second matters. <laughs> this champion's broken. No, he had flash after all those that fighting. Really? Go, go, action! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start for me. We're pretty fed now. How did I latch? Because I'm playing Echo. <laughs> and Echo is not balanced. I 
don't think he needs to be proxying him that early, but whatever. Again, I'm just playing OP picks. I don't know if Syndra last game was OP. But I more think, again, I was thinking about that game a little bit, by the way. It's annoying that we lost it. But the more you think about it in a non-tilty way, it makes sense that we lost it. I genuinely was our only strength. Maya, not right now. If I can hear Maya. She has just woken up from a nap, so she might need to pee. Oh, I'm again. I don't mean to be negative, but the moment I saw Akshan mid, I'm like, where well, he's gonna feed? Maya. Might have to go let her out to pee. God damn it! Not good timing. just come upstairs he's like i was calling you no one keeps me down oh yeah i was like wait what are we doing we're diving oh yeah volley bed deactivates turrets useful when you're tower diving. You settle my mind. Yeah, that's a nice skill. I do say so myself in these placements. Again, we don't know obviously how overall I'm going to do in total, but... I'm really happy with how I'm playing, personally. Akshan only got one kill. I thought he'd get two. He only got one. Because Akshan doesn't seem very good. Unfortunately for us. I love Storm Surge on base though. Yeah, Zyra got one. Akshan got one. Volibear naturally will outscale the Jace like crazy. I'm going to skip wolves. I don't want to like dilly dally too much. I want to go back. Um, no vision in top lane whatsoever. Yeah, there's Bolly Bear. This is hard. All of our lanes are kind of losing. Sucks as a jungler when all your laners individually are losing their lanes. There's only so much you can do, you know. Are they doing that? We really not get that. The holy victor ultimate. Alright, I'll take that. That was really good. Oh. oh man, this action blows. This game is just hard with how bad the action's doing. Oh, I played that well. Let's go. My item got me that kill, by the way. That was Storm Surge getting the kill. At least that champ does scale a bit, and like he can hopefully get a good revive off on someone later. 
I'm on my way. Oh. Did I trap my ult ghost? I mean, I know where I was four seconds before. If that's what you mean. She, she went the way where my ult... Well, I just was, so that... It looked cool. It wasn't incredibly skillful because she more misplayed it than anything else. An enemy has uh, can we do dragon? This volley bear keeps proxying and dying. Is he not dead? No, he is dead. We can just use both. Oh. <laughs> this action just keeps dying constantly. <laughs> I got outskilled, sorry. Uh, the Green Man with brand new Prime, welcome, ma'am. And Zerko, welcome to the two year sub club. Sorry, my mouth's being loud. Look at all that skill that Akiana did. Okay, so summary I would say first impressions of the new season just play Lethality Champions. They seem the most OP. Like, genuinely, that's my first impression of the season. And a lot of Lethality Champions fall into very easy champion category as well, so... Just play Lethality. And I couldn't get to the Dragon in time. He had flash? Okay. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Akshan's not able to do anything pressure-wise. This guy's doing really badly. Nice. Played that well. I'm really happy with how I'm playing. I'm really happy. Hopefully I can carry... But I think Kiana, having use of these crazy lethality items still, probably will be stronger than me in terms of carry potential, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I saw the Zyra, like, positioned this way, so I was expecting her to hit it. Obviously, we weren't going to get the kill if she didn't hit it, but thank God she did. This Bully Bear... Ugh. Just dies so much. Wait, what? Anathema's Chains Rush. Not sure about that one. Well. Don't want to overstave anywhere. They're, they're going to be doing that. We got all the early ones, so we'll be roughly even, so it's not that bad. No, it won't be the actual Tarzan. It will just be a fanboy. A fanboy without any originality. Hey, Folky. You think we can kill Victor? He doesn't have Flash. Let's make them notice. Well, I don't know if Action's going to do any damage. Um. <laughs> oh my god. We just can't play with this action. He is so bad. Oh. One and six action. And Akshan's a lane bully as well. Oh, this sucks. This is like last game with um, the... Well, last game we had a really bad Graves and a really bad Seraphine. This game we've got a really bad Volibear and a really bad Akshan. It makes the game so difficult. I 
think they're doing that, by the way. Nothing we can do about it. They're not doing it. Right. Oh, Kiana's bot lane. I think my bot lane's dying here. Yeah. They died in the 2v2 anyway, and they weren't paying attention to Kiana making her way. Oh, this game's hard. Oh my god, I'm not going to get any help again, am I? <laughs> we're, we're outnumbering them in this situation. <laughs> this is impossible. Action's dead again, probably. Huh? Oh, Victor altered. You have to be inting at this stage. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. We just have two inting solo laners. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, I missed the. I don't know what I can do, man. We just have two solo laners just uh, inting their mind out. And Kiana just gets a free game. Ah! Oh well. Again, don't be annoyed. I'm gonna maintain the mental. This is just one of those games that you just gotta accept is just straight up a team diff, so can't be annoyed. If I could do something about wins and then and we lose, then I'll be annoyed, but yeah. I don't think there's much I can do this game. It is what it is. Give it up. We can't fight for anything. We're way too far behind everywhere. We're way too far behind. But again, fairly happy with how I've played at least. Done a lot of bunch of good things this game. That is really overextended. But again, just because Victor's overextended, I don't me think we can do anything with it because it's not like Akshan can help. Which is the really sucky thing, but we just have to kind of accept it because it is what it is. It's feeding more. Uh, got the Rakan. Wait, what's Akshan doing? Bro. Bro. If Volley Bear and Akshan aren't inting, I don't know what they're doing. Oh my god, the latch didn't work. I was just out of range. I can't even win. I cannot carry these teammates enough. Sage. Where did Kiana go? The heck? Doesn't do any damage. Well, that was weird. I guess the Kiana just thought if she went for that Rift Herald, she was dead. Which she probably was, so she's just rather KDA protecting rather than take the tower. Then that completely opened up the victor for me. Got quite a lot of gold. What the hell is that? I think it was Baron. Uh oh. 
Oh my god, Luce. The enemy team is just everywhere. We have no positive pressure from anyone. Ah. I'm 10 and 3 though. I'm playing good. And just remind everyone, like, I'm uploading every placement game just to show you how they go. If I'm... These are... Every time that... The two games so far when we've looked up the past ratings of players, everyone is Diamond 1 or Diamond 2. That's really good rank. And if I'm holding my own and I'm actually getting fed in all of the games... God, bro. I'm really happy with how I'm playing. But, like, genuinely, we have a 0-8 Volley Bear top and a 1-9 Akshan mid. Like... I can't carry these players. They're, those are KDAs that are beyond carrying. <sighs> they have given the enemy team so much free strength. That is just uncarryable. Oh. But again, remember, the whole season isn't placements. Obviously, if your placements go well, it's a bonus and it's great. Because it's the, you know, let's say easiest games to get high LP in when you're getting 50 or 60 LP for a win in placements. But if you don't do amazing in them, don't worry. You've got a whole, well, I was going to say a whole year. You don't anymore because it's a split system. But you have a long time. But yeah, we've got a 0 9 Volley Bear and a, a 9 Death action. Not a lot we can do about that. So cocky. But they've been given free. Oh, I didn't have some more, Sag. Or is being surrounded. That Lucian was so cocky. What the heck? Do you see his positioning? Literally in our territory. That's when you know the enemy team is not taking you all seriously at all. I was spamming ultimate the moment that I saw Rakan completely chain CC'd the whole time. Oh well, we tried. We tried. Uncarryable. Hopefully the next game we'll get some competent teammates. Bum, bum, bum. I mean the volley bear is just probably a Bows wannabe, so he's going to split push and int the whole game. Yeah, look, it was 1.66 time to kill me. I was CC'd for the entire duration. Not a whole lot I could do about that. Oh, that's the thing. No one's buying Hull Broker anymore, but top laners just... once they When they've done a playstyle a whole year, it's going to be really, really hard for them to break out of that playstyle. We don't do any damage. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> I don't know. Enemy team is just so fed. Even though, even though I'm quite fed at this point, it doesn't matter because Jace is fed, Kiana's fed, Victor's fed. Like, they've got everyone's fed versus just me. So practically wherever I go, I'm against people that are strong. I can't carry. Oh, well. Ugh. Don't worry, guys. Volibear is still split pushing. <laughs> Of course he is. Oh. 
Whoa! Hey, I killed the Lucian! Go, go, Power Rangers! And he's dead. <laughs> I killed two. That was a lot of gold for me. <coughs> Kill? No? Okay. Wait, he killed Jace. Again, he should destroy a Jace is the funny thing. Really should. He's just not paid attention to getting ganked the whole game. Can we go over the dragon, please? Let's not do that again. Imagine if we win this game. Uh, doubt it. I just don't see how we win. Kiana's strong for free. He gets to one-shot people by just pressing R. Lethality just seems so strong right now. It's just I can't, man. The Lucian's doing nothing, but it's too many of them that are strong. So far, I'll say I like a lot of the changes that are in the game. I'm not a big fan of how OP lethality seems still. Because lethality was so strong last year. It's like, can you, can something else be strong this year? But it seems really strong still. That was weird. Back to square seven. I'll be watching the cinematic after, yeah. I think I'm going to play a lethality champion next game, to be honest. That just seems to be what you should do. Obviously, it's not helped that we've got a 1 and 12 and a 2 and 12. Both both of our solo laners combined, everyone, are 3 and 24. When you actually say that out loud, you realize how bad that is. That's very, very, very bad. An 3 and 25. <laughs> Yeah, like, just play Lethality. Honestly, just play Lethality. That's Huzzy's advice for the early season. Uh, I'll play Lethality from now on. We've been getting fed in every single game, but I don't think I've quite played the really OP champ. But yeah, I'm happy with how I'm playing. That's good, at least. So, we'll take that as a good thing. Overall. Wow. But yeah. 113, 213. 3 10. So, three of our teammates equated to what? 6 and 30. 36. 6 kills, 36 deaths with three of our teammates. We ain't winning that one, guys. <laughs> we, we, we ain't winning that one. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so we go 14, 8, 0, nearly 22k damage. So I do the most damage on my team, unsurprisingly. But yeah, that was a really bad team. They all were just really bad. 
And again, it's going to happen in placements. You get a lot of mismatching in placements of like good players, bad players, dual players who aren't dueling. They just get destroyed. So it is what it is. Hopefully next game will do better. We'll play Lethality Champions, I think, for the remaining two placement games. Because, yeah, Lethality just seems like, without sounding toxic, it might come across toxic. But Lethality just seems brain-dead OP. Like, you can just do it, and it's just OP. You don't have to play well. Other things, you still have to play well. Which is basically what Lethality's like all the time. Which kind of sucks that it's the same, but it is. But anyway, placement in game three done. Annoying, but... We keep PMA. Throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.